Good evening and welcome to a new quick edit video. This time I want to work on another composite image, using this image as the foreground and replacing the sky with a shot of the Milky Way. If you want to follow along this quick edit video, I also will provide you with the raw file and the Milky Way shot and you can find the download link in the description of the video. Keep in mind though, I will be using Lightroom, Photoshop and the paid version of the TK panel plugin to create luminosity masks. So before I start the editing, here are the before and after images. Okay, and as always, I'm starting in Lightroom and I activate the lens correction settings. Then I'm going back to the top where I want to change profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard. This will remove some contrast of the image and desaturate it a little bit as well. Next, I think I need to change the white balance. Let's try auto for this shot. And that looks pretty good for the moment. Okay, next I want to increase the whites. And this will mainly help make the sky selection easier later. And I also want to add some overall clarity to this image. Maybe I can even add more clarity in the foreground. Therefore, I'm using a gradiated filter and I'm just increasing the clarity once more a little bit in this area. All right, then I don't think I need to do any color grading at the moment because I like the desaturated look of it and this will fit pretty good for a nighttime shot. So let's go straight to the sharpening. Okay, that's it for the Lightroom part. Then let's switch over to Photoshop. Now, first I want to get rid of the old sky and as said earlier, I'm going to use the TK panel plugin to create those luminosity masks. And therefore I'm just pushing that plus minus icon right here. And under the channels tab, there will be new channels created by that plugin. For the purpose of the sky replacement, I'm going with the lights two channel, which I'm going to duplicate by dragging it over this icon. And now I want to separate the sky from the foreground. That means after those steps, the sky should be pure white while everything I want to keep will be black. So first I can adjust the levels a little bit by pressing Ctrl L and here I'm dragging this point to the left a bit and this one to the right. Okay, and then to further adjust the sky, I'm going to select the brush tool and change the blending mode of the brush to overlay. And now with a white color set as the foreground color, I'm going to brush over the bright areas. Then I can do the same thing for the dark areas by changing the foreground color to black. And finally, I'm changing the mode back to normal and brush over the foreground. Now that the sky is separated from the foreground, I'm going to select it by pressing the control key and clicking on the thumbnail. And before I'm creating a layer mask for the foreground, I'm going to modify the selection by smoothing it a little bit. And then I'm just hitting the layer mask icon. And of course I need to invert the layer mask also. And that should be it for the sky replacement. Of course I need to add the new sky guy and also in the description of the video you can find the link to this image. Now I just need to place Milky Ray in the right spot. To fill the gap on the right side I'm going to duplicate the Milky Way shot and flip it horizontally and then I'm just dragging it all the way to the right side. Now of course the foreground does look a bit strange so I want to work on that. First I need to get rid of those transparencies in the foreground. Therefore again I'm grabbing the brush tool and set the foreground color to white. And then I'm just brushing over that area. Okay next I want to apply a brightness adjustment layer and clip it to the foreground layer by holding down the alt key and pressing between those two layers. So only the foreground is affected by that adjustment layer. And here I'm decreasing the brightness quite a bit. So it does look more like a nighttime shot. Maybe I can add some spots of brightness by again choosing the brush tool and set the foreground color to black and reduce the opacity of the brush to around 10%. And now I paint in a few times where I want to have a little bit more brightness. Okay. 
Then I want to desaturate the foreground a little bit more. So I'm applying a vibrance adjustment layer and again I'm clipping it to the foreground. And here I'm reducing the vibrance a bit, but not too much. Now there are still some ugly edges on the foreground. I'm going to fix that by again grabbing the brush tool and setting the blending mode to overlay and the foreground color to black. And then I'm carefully brushing over those edges. Now I also want to add some local glow to this image and therefore I'm applying a new layer and set the blending mode to hard light. Then I'm choosing a normal brush and change the opacity to 10%. And starting with a small brush, I'm starting to paint in this glow spot. Now, of course, this is now way too bright, so I want to reduce the opacity a bit. I think I need to also add some contrast to the Milky Way shot. So I'm adding a new brightness and contrast layer. Then I want to add some more of those glowy spots. So I'm again applying a new layer and set the blending mode to hard light. And I'm grabbing the brush tool. And I think I'm going with a colder color tone this time. Now I want to further darken the foreground. So again, I'm going on that brightness adjustment layer and I just reduce the brightness even more. Maybe I can even add some contrast. All right. Next I want to merge all those layers and then continue editing using the Nick Collection plugin. And because I like this glowy look, I'm going with the classical soft focus with the first soft focus method. Now I don't want to have this glow over the whole image. So again, I'm applying a layer mask and here I'm just brushing out the foreground area of this glow. All right, and I think I need to desaturate the image a little bit more in the foreground. So again, I'm applying a vibrance adjustment layer where I just decrease the vibrance a bit. And now to not affect the whole image, I'm going to fill that layer mask with black. And with the right brush, I'm going over all the areas which I want to desaturate a bit more. I think I need to adjust the foreground brightness in another way, but again, I'm applying a brightness adjustment layer and then I'm dropping the brightness quite a bit. And then I'm painting in back the brighter areas with a black brush. And this way it looks quite nice. All right, and that's it for editing this composite image. I hope this video was interesting and helpful and if you'd like to see more content like this then please feel free to subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching this video.